The following is a summary of severe weather of the afternoon of August 19, 2009, using Storm Lab, written by Evan Bookbinder, and images from the National Weather Service NEXREG Composite Reflectivity from Lincoln, Illinois, National Weather Service Office. The images span a time frame from 1.30 p.m. Central Time to 5.30 p.m. Central Time. During this four-hour period, a total of six tornadoes hit Central Illinois. We'll go into each of these in detail using close-up pictures from the storm reports and storm surveys conducted by the National Weather Service. In this image you can see TVS signatures or tornado vortex signatures popping up throughout the four-hour period. These coincide in most cases with the tornado reports and ground truth of damage. The first tornado of the afternoon touched down in extreme northern Greene County at around 2.10 p.m., about 4.5 miles south of Alzey. The tornado crossed into Scott County and moved east-northeast through the extreme northern portion of the town of Manchester. It then continued to the east-northeast, crossing into Morgan County, going a half mile south of Murrayville, and then lifting three and a half miles southwest of Franklin around 2.37 p.m. Central Time. The tornado started out around 100 yards wide and was around 250 yards wide at its maximum in western Morgan County. This tornado produced severe damage to a mobile home north of Manchester, damage to grain bins, farm machinery sheds, and major tree and crop damage. The path length of the tornado was 18 miles. This tornado was rated an EF1 on the Enhanced Fujita scale with an estimated wind speed reaching a maximum of 110 miles per hour. A second tornado touched down in extreme eastern Morgan County at 2.46 p.m. The tornado began around two miles northeast of Franklin and crossed into Sagamon County, moving east-northeast through the southern portion of the town of Loami. It then continued to the east-northeast, lifting one and a half miles northwest of Chatham around 3.08 p.m. The tornado started out around 200 yards wide and was around one quarter of a mile wide in rural portions of eastern Morgan and Sagamon counties. It was about 200 yards in width when it moved through Loami. In Loami, nine homes were destroyed with 15 homes severely damaged. Along the remainder of the path, the tornado produced damage to several homes, farm machinery sheds, and major tree and crop damage. The path length of this tornado was 16 miles. The tornado was rated an EF2 on the Enhanced Fujita scale with an estimated wind speed reaching a maximum of 125 miles per hour. At 3.17 p.m., a third tornado touched down near Lake Springfield, six miles south-southeast of downtown Springfield, on the west bank of the lake. The tornado crossed the lake and tracked to a point southeast of Rochester, then lifted two miles south-southeast of Mechanicsburg at 3.37 p.m. Rated an EF1 with a maximum width of 200 yards, the tornado had estimated wind speeds of 100 miles per hour, and a path length of 13 miles. At nearly the same time, another tornado was occurring on the other end of Sagamon County. This tornado, the fourth of the system, touched down in northern Sagamon County and traveled from Williamsville in northern Sagamon County to just east of Beeson in Logan County. The tornado set down on the west side of Williamsville, just east of I-55 near the Williamsville exit at 3.19 p.m. The tornado destroyed an antique mall there, damaged the Casey's, and collapsed the canopy over the gas pumps. One person was injured at the mall, while two motorcycle riders were injured as the tornado threw them from their bikes. The tornado continued northeast into Williamsville and hit a church, throwing a two-horse trailer onto the roof of the church and collapsing the roof over half of the building. One person was injured in the church when the tornado hit. The tornado then continued through the northern part of town doing mainly tree damage and some housing damage. Two homes lost their roofs 
and several other homes lost portions of their roofs. The tornado also caved in the southern end of a metal building, part of an agricultural business. On the edge of town, the width of the tornado through town ranged from 100 to 150 yards wide. The maximum wind speed was 135 miles per hour due to the damage of the church. The tornado was rated an EF2 at Williamsburg or Williamsville. Four people were injured in Williamsville, and the tornado continued on the ground moving east-northeast of town, flattening cornfields, damaging farm outbuildings and machine sheds, homes, garages, and vehicles on Lester Road. One home was completely destroyed and another with extensive damage as the tornado widened to 600 yards. A 19-month-old was injured as a family home was hit by the tornado. The winds at these locations were estimated to be approximately 140 miles per hour, with a tornado rating of EF3. The tornado continued through fields, causing extensive crop damage until crossing into Logan County at 326. The tornado was on the ground a total of 4.5 miles in Sangamon County, and in Logan County it continued to the northeast and widened it close to one half mile at several places. Multiple homes had roofs and walls gone, outbuildings blown over a mile away, outbuildings destroyed and grain bins blown away. The tornado continued to produce widespread tree damage and flattened many cornfields. In some places, the corn was laying in different directions, indicating the strength of the tornado winds as it moved to the northeast. The tornado did weaken at some times, which coincides with the rotation weakening on radar, but remained on the ground throughout this time. The wind speeds of the tornado were estimated to be 140 miles per hour after it crossed into Logan County completely, destroying another home, decreasing to 110 to 120 miles per hour as it moved to areas between Lincoln and Mount Pulaski. Two injuries occurred in Logan County as two men were thrown from a maintenance building as the tornado hit. The tornado continued northeast before weakening to speeds of 90 to 100 miles per hour with a width of 50 to 100 yards. The tornado finally dissipated just east of Beeson around 4.02 p.m. It was on the ground in Logan County for 20 miles with a maximum rating of EF3, mainly where it first crossed into the county. From Williamsville to Beeson, the tornado was on the ground for 24 and a half miles from 3.19 to 4.02 p.m. with a maximum wind speed of 140 miles per hour, a tornado rating of EF3, and seven total injuries. At 4.27 p.m., another tornado occurred in McLean County. This tornado was rated an EF0 with maximum winds of 70 miles per hour with a path length of 2.5 miles, a maximum width of 20 yards. The first touchdown at 4.27 p.m. occurred 3 miles south of Holder. The tornado lifted at 4.34 p.m. 2.5 miles southeast of Holder. The last tornado of the day from this system in central Illinois was an EF-0 tornado with maximum winds estimated at 80 miles per hour and a path length of 4.5 miles. The tornado in Vermilion County touched down at approximately 5.10 p.m., 3.5 miles east-northeast of Collison. The tornado lifted around 5.18 p.m., a half mile southeast of Henning. At its maximum, the tornado had a width of 50 yards. Additional wind damage was reported in Woodford, DeWitt, Coles, and surrounding counties. This final image shows the TVS signatures throughout the afternoon only without the radar data. Storm damage surveys from the National Weather Service were conducted by James Auten, meteorologist, Heather Stanley, meteorologist, Amy Janowski, meteorologist, Kim Gross, Meteorologist, and Ernie Ghosh, Meteorologist in Charge, National Weather Service, Lincoln. I'm Larry Step for the Central Illinois Weather Network.